A new AI model with only 27 million parameters, a tiny fraction of GPT-3's 175 billion, is outperforming its much larger rivals. On the difficult ARC AGI reasoning benchmark, the hierarchical reasoning model scored 40.3%, surpassing models like Claude 3.7. The reason for this success is its brain-inspired architecture, which is exceptionally data efficient. This allows the AI to achieve near-perfect performance on complex tasks by learning from as few as 1,000 examples, without any pre-training or chain of thought data. To put that in perspective, large transformer models trained on a million examples still failed to achieve even 20% accuracy on the same kind of maze tasks that HRM absolutely crushed. The word breakthrough is mostly marketing bullshit. But this seems different, cause when a model's architecture, not its size, is the reason it crushes the competition, that's a leap forward. The core design of HRM is inspired by a fundamental neuroscience principle. The brain isn't a uniform processor, but a hierarchy of specialized regions operating at different speeds. HRM implements this by using two coupled recurrent modules. The first is a slow planner, the high-level H module, which handles abstract strategy and learns to operate in a high-dimensional space with a participation ratio of 89.95. The participation ratio essentially measures how many different computational features the module is using to think. A high PR is essential for cognitive flexibility and handling a wide variety of tasks, like a generalist thinker. The second is a fast executor, the low-level, L module, which performs rapid, detailed computations within a specialized, low-dimensional space, PR of 30.22. The model's power comes from a process called hierarchical convergence. The H module sets a plan, the L module executes many rapid steps to solve it, and its result is fed back to the H module to update the overall strategy, enabling deep, nested computation. To understand how this works, think of the model solving a complex Sudoku puzzle. This is a direct example of its hierarchical convergence convergence process in action. First, the high-level planner module sets a sub-goal, like solve the top left 3x3 three three box. It doesn't focus on the individual numbers, just the overall objective. Then, the low-level executor module performs many rapid, localized calculations, checking rows and columns, until it fills that box and reaches a stable state. Once finished, its result is sent back to the high-level module, which updates the overall puzzle strategy and issues a new subtask, like based on that, now focus on the top middle box. This cycle of planning, executing, and updating allows the model to perform a long sequence of nested computations without its reasoning fizzling out, achieving a level of computational depth that standard models can't match.